Hello Kitty! In the last video, we looked at a little trick using sticky notes to help us draw out the hidden images on a blank page. Now let's talk about how to stick to working on a big book project for months whilst being interrupted. When we have months to prepare a big comic book project, it's highly likely we'll encounter other work, other responsibilities, or surprises that interrupt our momentum momentarily or routinely. I notice it's harder to get the momentum going again if I'm focused on finishing a big book because it sounds like a big task. Well, it is compared to a short story comic book, but in many ways they are the same with the exception of the time needed to complete the book. And if you're like me, the more breaks I take in between working on a big book project the farther I get from my original emotions getting into it in the beginning. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I notice it can affect the look and feel of my sketches, making the latter part of the book feel a little like someone else drew it. In a way, that's true, because the earlier parts of the book were drawn by a slightly younger version of myself. And if you're like me, then you'll also notice it only takes about three months before we start wanting to tell a new story. Which can be a good thing, to have new ideas always flowing in, but it can also be a little distracting because now my attention is divided. This division can influence the look and feel of my comic book panel compositions. Now, I don't mind if the first half of the book has a different feel to the last part of the book, as long as that shift is connected and cohesive to the whole. It's hard to explain how that looks, but it feels similar to when you take a holiday vacation from your day job. When you return to work, you feel renewed and ready for something new. But often, it's the same job, the same type of task that's ahead of you, and so your mental state is no longer in sync with the work, which feels old now, or feels like you've grown past it. Here's what I did to avoid that disconnect. I stopped focusing on completing the big book project. I stopped treating it as a goal. Instead, I looked at it in its smaller components so that my to-do list is filled with an item that I can easily cross out on a daily basis. That to-do item is to pencil two pages per day. Two is a number that is most doable on a daily basis. This makes it possible to work on our big book project with minimal breaks and avoid that disconnect between our mood and the storytelling atmosphere of the book. In the other videos, I mentioned that I skipped the thumbnailing stage and I'm going to finish penciling all pages before I start finalizing the strokes with colors. With the two pages per day system, it feels like watching a movie play out on paper, but it's a silent movie and it plays out slowly, like real life. I'm glad I decided to pencil everything first before finalizing. It's really enjoyable to see a mock-up of the pages before executing the final art. Let me show you how that feels, because you've been a good kitty. I'll end this video with a sneak peek of my pencil pages from the middle part of a big book project. Enjoy the preview. That's all for now. I'll talk to you later.